the fierce Santa Ana winds that have driven massive wildfires in Southern California could get even stronger Thursday, officials warned, as four fires near Los Angeles grew to engulf more than 115,000 acres. Forecasters are predicting wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour, likely grounding helicopters and fixed wing aircraft that can drop water on the blazes. Forecast for Thursday is purple, Ken Pimlot, director at the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, said last night, referring to the only color above red on the wind scale. We've never used purple before. And as of now at least, an end to the threat is a long way away. The National Weather Service office in Los Angeles and Oxnard says it expects critical fire weather conditions to linger into Saturday, with the winds paired with extremely low humidity. The NWS office adds that when a fire gets started in those conditions, there's a high chance of very rapid fire spread, long-range spotting, and extreme fire behavior. As the Associated Press notes, the wilder winds could easily make new fires explode too, as one did Wednesday in Los Angeles. Exclusive Bill Air section, where a fire consumed multi-million dollar houses that give the rich and famous sweeping views of Los Angeles. The fires have produced vivid and shocking images of massive walls of flame. But on Wednesday night, a much smaller scene of peril played out, when a man was seen getting out of his car to rescue a rabbit that was near perilous flames on Highway 1 in La Conchita. In a dramatic sequence captured by RMG News, the rabbit ran away from the man, and toward the flames, before he managed to corral it. He declined to be interviewed afterwards. Mary Plummer, a reporter with member station KPCC in Pasadena, tells Morning Edition that these fires are affecting a real range of geographic areas, some very urban, some very rural. So, it's a real logistical problem. Making the situation more dangerous for anyone trying to get out of affected areas, the fires have forced closures on arterial roads. In addition to the shutdown of a stretch of the 101 on Thursday, a portion of the 405 freeway was closed in both directions for a time on Wednesday. Call Fire estimates that hundreds of structures, including 200 homes, have been destroyed, and that as many as 200,000 people are under evacuation orders. Some 12,000 structures are considered in danger. Gov. Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency for Los Angeles and Ventura counties, which will free up state resources. Remarkably, so far no deaths have been reported. But many people have been evacuated and many have already lost homes. Patricia Hampton, a homeless woman who lost her tent, was sheltered at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, which is serving as an evacuation center. It was surreal, she tells KPCC. The entire town was pitch black. I looked to the left and the hillside was on fire. I looked to my right and it was just coming over the ridge, huge flames. Member station KCLU says that firefighters have made progress, raising containment of the Thomas Fire, the largest of several, from 0 to 5 percent. As of Thursday morning, the fire had grown to 96,000 acres. However, Ventura County Fire Captain Tony McHale said it was still a long way from under control. There's enough fire around, there's dry fuel, the humidity is still low. We're still very much in danger. So we can't let our guard down at all, McHale said. The Thomas Fire has burned a 10-mile path from Santa Paula to the Pacific Ocean, jumping U.S. Highway 101 along the way. The Los Angeles Times reports that, as flames raged toward neighborhoods in Ojai, Carpinteria in Fillmore late Wednesday, officials issued new evacuation orders in Ojai Valley, notifying residents with an emergency cell phone alert. Authorities said they were helping residents of five assisted living facilities evacuate, while people at Ojai Hospital were advised to shelter in place. Southern California Public Radio SCPR adds areas northeast of Ojai have seen the most fire growth since Wednesday morning, officials told reporters. Authorities say they are conducting damage assessments in the area to determine how many homes have been damaged. In Los Angeles County, the Creek Fire, affecting 12,605 acres, is just 5% contained and the Rye Fire, of 7,000 acres, is 15% contained. The much smaller Skier Ball Fire was considered 5% contained and has prompted the evacuation of about 700 homes, one apartment building and an elementary school, according to SCPR. The Bill Air fire prompted UCLA to cancel classes afternoon on Wednesday. All classes are also canceled for Thursday, the Daily Bruin reports.